Okay, so let's count the saving challenge money. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a ton of things to do. We have to close out the December budget. I have to stuff my cash wallet as well as my saving challenges. And then I'm gonna also be condensing uh, my sinking funds with the closeout we're gonna see how much money i have in my sinking funds for the final friday in 2023 and then i'm also going to count my saving challenge money for you guys to see how much money i saved with my challenge for this year so if you have not closed out your december budget and just got that whole month situated and reconciled go grab your budget planner notebook tablet device whatever you use and let's go ahead and close out December and get ready for January. Okay, y'all, so December is kind of all over the place for me as I'm sure it might be for several of you. Um, so let's just go ahead and go through the calendar to see what took place this week. So um, I did have an impromptu <laughs> brunch on Tuesday. And so I just used my outings um sinking fund for that activity so that did not come out of my weekly budget um i just took it out of my sinking funds i did get coffee this week somewhere along the month i stopped taking note of my no spend days so i have no idea how many no spend days i have this month we're just gonna do a big old question mark for the coffees i 369 spent nine dollars on coffee this month which is not bad and before i continue i just want to say that i hope you had a very merry christmas and christmas eve and that you have a safe and happy new year um if you celebrate other holidays hoping that your holidays went well as as well and that you are doing well so um my health insurance i'm actually going to take care of that between today and tomorrow because i have to do it before the 31st um my student loans, there are some things going on with this. My student loans are actually lower than they used to be. They were never that much anyway, but they're lower now, which you guys are gonna see that. And I still gotta work on this. I still have to work on my retirement, but I'm thinking I probably will handle these things after my busy season. So um, November, December, and January are very busy months for the shop and um, I appreciate you guys for being patient and for being understanding that this is a busy time of year for everybody um, and I will be working this weekend. Um, so yeah, thank you for your patience. Um, I did pay my electricity bill. Moving on from that, this is my budget so in this middle column here i just wrote down everything in green we only have one red which is my car insurance that went up which we talked about i will not go all into that um saving challenges are getting one i gotta turn my planner 186 or they did get 186 um this month so that is accurate so there's no difference there um i actually did not make an extra debt pay uh debt payment this month because with the holidays coming up and just kind of spending more money this month i was not able to do that sinking funds i will have to check at the end of the video as far as my best friend's baby i just kind of lumped his money in with the christmas money so that's why that says zero i did pay my renter's insurance so Oh wait, that's supposed to be a positive 50. That's a positive 50, because I did not spend that. Uh, renter's insurance was paid, unbudgeted. I'm gonna have to get those numbers off camera. I was over budget in Christmas. I only saved 165 and I actually spent 310, so I'm over 145. I might actually be over more than that. Um, yeah, that may be a little bit skewed, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it here because this this month is confusing me. Okay, y'all. So I figured out what was going on. So I saved money here, but I did spend it 
here. So I ended up spending 104 on the babies and then I spent 255 on my one person um, in my family we pull names. So that's a total of 359 that I spent on Christmas. And I did have 165 saved. So it put me in the red 194. So that's the total money that I spent on Christmas gifts for everybody. Um, one adult and three, two babies and one toddler. Um, I had that much saved, so I'm that much in the red. I did go to that housewarming that I told you guys about that was unexpected. And so that had me in the red for unbudgeted about $50. Well, it was 50. Um, and then the brunch, I used my sinking fund. So that was technically not an over budget expense because I had money for it. Okay, I think this is, I think this is accurate. Okay, I hope that was not too confusing for you guys, but this is real life. This, <laughs> listen, sometimes these numbers really can trip you up. So if you are having a struggle moment with everything that went on in this month, I'm right there with you. So now I'm just filling out my last, um, the numbers for my last paycheck. And this is where we are. So my bills were a little bit less because I said, like I told you guys, my um, my student loan bill was usually, is usually $77 rounded to the next dollar. But this month it was only $62 or $63 rounded to the next dollar. So save money there. So we'll do 17765 plus 174, save a dollar in my cash envelopes, plus 124 plus 104 is 57965, 57965. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, differences here. So 192, Minus 17765 is a positive $14.35. The month, the money, excuse me, that I saved from my student loan bill being lower is just gonna go to my buffer checking account. It's gonna stay in there. Um, the cents that I saved from my electricity bill was like a few cents less than what I saved. It's just gonna stay in my um account as well this extra dollar from my cash envelopes is going to go in my buffer envelope and then i was in the red four dollars for that was for the babies for christmas so let's see 14.35 plus one minus four equals a positive 11.35 so this technically would have been a red week if my student loan bill would not have been lower. Moving on to the weekly check-in. And thank you to the person that um, someone commented last week letting me know that my last week red number was off, so I had to go back and I fixed that. So thank you for that. For spending, I did spend the $10. So negative 73 plus negative, or plus 10, or no, plus negative 10 is negative 83. Yes, I am $83 in the red on spending. For gas, I spent it all. Y'all know it is just a busy time of year, honey. So we have $20 left, 65 minus um, 45. Wait, that's green. That's green. So groceries, I spent 70. And I think I had 70 left. So that's no difference. For home, I spent the whole 25, no difference. For eating out, I had $19 and I spent, well, I gave myself 15 and I spent um, 14. So 14 minus 19 is $5 left. And for beauty, I did not spend anything this week, but I am over budget in beauty by $53 for the month. 
and then medicine i had 40 dollars left i did spend the 10 on pampering so i spent the 10 and that gives me 30 dollars left if y'all see anything wrong <laughs> let me know okay y'all so this is an overall close out of the december budget off camera i'll fill in these numbers as well as some numbers where you see that there are some blanks so um i went ahead and filled in you guys saw these numbers from the week weekly check-in so for spending i gave myself 40 but i spent 123 i'm negative 83. gas gave myself 180 i spent 160 i'm positive 20. groceries and home are were exactly that eating out i gave myself 100 i spent 95 it's the holidays i wasn't doing a lot of eating out uh, save five save five dollars meds only spent 10 save 30. beauty i'm over by 53 dollars and then laundry and ties i have to do all um off camera and then you guys saw me kind of fix get this together we will look at the sinking funds and then figure that out everything over here is done as well this is um on a monthly basis what my budget will look like at the end of the month and i do strive for <laughs> an all green month but you guys know that doesn't happen during the holidays but we're going to try to aim for it in january um i was not able to pay off my taxes bill this month so we're just going to keep working on it i have until um i think april to pay it off but it's not gonna take me that long i was just hoping to pay it off um this month so i still have a balance of 241 and then uh, when I get to the sinking fund, the cash condensing, we'll look at the sinking funds. Okay guys, so usually once I close out the previous week's paycheck, I set up the next week's paycheck with you guys, but next week is January. So um, this is my budget planner for 2024. There's a link in the description box. It's an Erin Condren seven by nine monthly planner. Um, monthly means it has line pages after the calendar. And this is what I, this is the size that I make my stickers for. But because I have not done my January budget set up with you guys yet, I'm just gonna write the numbers in this notepad and then trans um, translate them to the budget when I set that up. January's monthly budget will get set up um, tomorrow morning and I'm gonna post it tomorrow night. So. so for the bills, they are all due or the bills for this week are due by the 4th of January. And that's just my rent, utilities, and uh, my health insurance. So I don't disclose my rent. So we'll just go with health insurance, which is about $17. I do have to renew my health insurance. Like I said, uh, between today and tomorrow, I don't know if that number is gonna stay the same or not, but hopefully I will know um, today and be able to make that accurate. The cash envelopes are getting 280 this week. Sinking funds are not going to get anything this week. I do owe myself $30 in car maintenance, so I'm going to put that back, but it's not in addition to that fund. So the only thing I'm actually stuffing is the saving challenge, which I'm, which I'm going to complete with the $43. Um, I didn't take anything out of this week's paycheck for the buffer envelope, and then nothing for, I'm not budgeting anything for unbudgeted. So the total of these numbers, 17 280 and 43 is 340 so that is the total that i need i'm not going to be stuffing this bill because again i don't know what it's going to be i'm just making an estimate until i find out but i will stuff my cash envelopes and my saving challenge today so moving on to the weekly check-in i guess i'll put this up here Moving on to the weekly check-in. Spending this week is going to get a 10. Gas is getting 45. Groceries are getting 70. Home, um, 15. Eating out, 25. Medicine, nothing. Beauty is getting 115. So this is the first paycheck for January and I will put these numbers in my budget planner tomorrow morning. Okay guys, so I do have 353 um, on the sticky note here. There's a couple reasons for that discrepancy from what you guys just saw in the notepad. Number one, I did not pull out my bill money. I'm just gonna have to do that um, electronic transfer for that. Number two, um, this also includes that $30 that I do owe to my car maintenance sinking fund. 
but again that's a payback situation i'm not adding 30 dollars to that envelope so just wanted to let y'all know that it's a lot going on today but just bear with me we're gonna get through it okay so i just have the one dollar left from eating out this one dollar is going to go into my buffer envelope and this is just an envelope just to keep some extra cash around um nothing major but yeah and i'm adding a dollar this should put us at 19. i do live by a main street so i apologize for that 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19. We have almost $20 back in the buffer. I had more than this, but when I had a spending spree around my birthday time, I uh, spent all that money. Okay, so let's move on to the saving challenge. So my saving challenge here, we just have one um, bubble left and that's the 43. Okay, so we're going to get this money out. I have one more um, check mark sticker here and that will complete this card for the year all of my cards have been completed and we'll do 20 40 and 3 and I am looking forward to condensing um, Condensing, condensing this cash down today and then I'm going to be depositing it for the new year because I'm using this money to put toward taxes in the new year. Um, and so that is all for the saving challenge, y'all. I really can't believe it. I'm so excited. So now we can move on to the wallet. Okay, so my checkered um, or grid vellum envelopes will be available in the new year, which is what you see here. And three different fonts will be available as well as they will um, be available in size A7 and in A6. Uh, gas is getting 45, so 20, 40, and a five. I'm always so excited around this time of year when everyone starts to post, um, you know, everyone starts posting like their budget closeouts and, um, you know, seeing how they did for the year, what they saved for the year. Um, you know, they start posting like goals videos, which I will have one of those coming for you guys next week. Um, I'll probably show you guys a snippet of that real quick. But it's an exciting time of year for the budgeting and planning community. Eating out is getting 20 and five. Meds, not getting anything. Beauty is getting 115, 10 and five. And again, this is for the January budget, so this is not December budget. So I know you guys saw I was over budget in December, but all of these will be coming from my January budget, which you guys will see that video tomorrow tomorrow evening. And so that is it. That is my wallet. Uh, my wallet. I just love how this looks. And so nothing is going to the bank. I have a ton of receipts to scan into Fetch Rewards, which that is an app for you to scan receipts and get points. And you can trade those points in for gift cards. I used my points not too long ago to help pay for a hotel stay back in um, August. I'm going to put my coins up and then that's where I keep my cards. So the remaining $30 over here, I'm just going to go ahead and um, put that into the car maintenance sinking fund i'm actually not even sure why i took money out of here i don't know if it was like around the time i was like shopping for the babies or something i don't know i don't i don't know what happened it's just it was one of those months where i'm just like i don't know y'all i have no idea what was going on <laughs> 
between like working and holidays i have no idea what was going on okay i'm not adding anything so i should have 270 dollars so 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 50, 60, 70, 80, 59, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 270. Praise Jesus. Okay. So done with that. And I'm not stuffing my sinking funds this week because um, I am getting a beauty service done. And then also topping off my rent for the week so i will not be stuffing my sinking funds but we are going to move on to the cash condensing um portion right now okay y'all so this is the money that i pulled out from a separate bank account um to do my cash condensing y'all can see they threw it in the trash i asked them to give it back to me so there's that but it is a total of 780 dollars so one to 300 let's go here 350 400 450 500 20 40 60 80 600 20 40 60 80 700 and 10 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 so 7 80 and what I'm going to be using to help me do my cash condensing is this cash breakdown worksheet. It is a digital printable in my shop. Um, so all of my envelopes are not going to get condensed because they just didn't need it. But the ones that need it will be getting it. So birthday is going to get a 10. And so it has $11 in it. So, oh, yes, we have to count the sinking funds see how much money we have in our sinking funds hopefully y'all can see my calculator so um five six seven eight nine and ten i'm going to grab a ten so we have eleven dollars wardrobe is getting a 20. so ten 15 and 20 for 43 dollars so that was plus 43 um april and may is going to get a 50 20 25 30 35 40 45 50. plus 50 outings is blank car maintenance is going to be getting 170 so um okay so 20 40 60 80 100 and 20 30 40 50 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And 20. So we have 270 in car maintenance. Miscellaneous is going to get a 20. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. For 22. Gifts doesn't have anything. I did use this. Um, I think I did use that envelope for part of my Christmas money. It's just all a hot mess. But yeah, goddaughter is going to get 15. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm actually going to take out the worst bills. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so she should have... 
um, 88. So 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. Um, medical is going to get to 20s, so 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. For $40, $40. $40. Okay, so this binder is done. It is looking much slimmer. We'll move on to the low priority. Okay, so car tags is going to get 25. So that would be 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 for $27. Electronics will get 15, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, and five. And we have 18 in electronics. Emergency is going to get 30. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, and 10. Four. 1230. I did take money out of my sinking funds, so they might be lower than they were um, at the beginning of the month. I don't know. Um, giveaways is going to get 25. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five. And giveaways has $28. Christmas has nothing. We spent it all. Functions is going to get a five. One, two, three, four, and five and it has $8. And car tires is going to get a 20. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 for 22. So we are um, closing out our sinking funds for the month of December with $1,857. Okay guys, so my high priority binder started with 359 and we are ending it with 524 and 524 minus 359 equals a positive 165. My low priority binder started with 1408 and it is ending with 1333 so 1408 minus 1333 equals a negative 75 so this is 165 this is 75 and then if i add these two up 524 plus 133 we have 1857 so ultimately we ended up with more money ending than we did beginning Okay, the last thing that we're gonna condense is going to be my saving challenge. So that's gonna get all the rest of the money that you see over here in the tray. I'm super excited to, um, <laughs> look at this uh, envelope, y'all. It's so stretched out, but it didn't break. That was my biggest like hope that it wouldn't break. Okay, so we need 200 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 
50 and 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, then I need 20. So 10, 20. No, I need more than <laughs> I need more than that because I'm gonna get it from over there. I didn't account for what I added today. Okay, so then I did a 10. And then I did five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. What I'm gonna end up doing, guys, is um, condensing this down as well. So let's see, five, 10, 15, 20. Let's grab a 20. And five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. See if I can find another 20. And one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's count the saving challenge money. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred. So twelve hundred. 1300 that's another hundred and 20 40 60 let me just turn it over this way 20 40 60 and 10 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. Okay, 1379 is what I have saved from my saving challenge cards. Um, and again, this money is gonna go toward my taxes. I believe that number is the number that I'm supposed to have saved. Um, I know it was 1300 something. I just don't fully, rem <laughs> I don't fully remember, but I have to go through and count. But I think it's all there. And I will for sure know, because we're gonna count all this cash over here to make sure it's $780. And if we have 780, then this is completely accurate. So that is it for 2023 saving challenges. 2024 saving challenges are available in the shop for the whole entire year. And yeah, get them before they run out. Okay, y'all, so I am back with all the cash organized. We gotta count it. I don't know, it's not really looking like $780. And if it's not, then I'm gonna have to do some investigating. Hopefully it is. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60. 360, okay, calculator. Got it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this in the tray. And we'll move on to the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Okay, so we have 150. We're at 510. And then we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 165. Okay, 165, we're at 675. So that means that these ones gotta be like a hundred and something dollars. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm probably gonna finish counting these tens off camera, guys, so you don't have to sit here and see me do all of that and then come back. Okay, y'all, we are in good shape. So I have 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, okay, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then this is five. So plus 105 is our 780. We got it. Yay. Okay. So all of this money, guys, is going to go back to my bank. I've condensed my bills. My saving challenge money is going to the bank as well. And it's just going to sit in there with the rest of the money until it's time to pay my taxes. And then next week, I'm going to come back fresh with the new 2024 saving challenges. Um, did want to show you guys really quickly that um, the February kits are available. January is still available as well. I just don't have them printed out to show you here, but you can always check them out on my website or on Etsy. And I'm going to be setting up my January budget tomorrow. Um, like I told you guys, I'm gonna film it in the morning and post it tomorrow evening. So I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I lay the stickers down. So you won't wanna miss that. Also at the beginning of the planner, Next week, I'm going to film a video setting up my goals for 2024. And I have created, hopefully the camera's not shaking too much, sorry about that, these goal sticker sheets um, available in the shop. And I'm gonna be using black, I've already peeled it up a little bit as you can see, but there will be, um, there's 12 goals to fit into the 12 boxes and then you have a bunch of like dot stickers at the bottom so that you can, um, you know, label your goals and with the two lighter colors you can actually like with a black pen like check off your goals as you go i'm going to be using black because that is what matches my planner so i'm just gonna have to check my goals off on the side um and so erin condren has a, a lot of her planners kind of fit into these three colors a lot of them really fit into the gray as well so i just did these primary colors that hopefully no matter what planner you pick up, you can find a goal sheet to match that planner. So that video will be coming on next week. And then again, tomorrow will be the January um, 2024 budget setup. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, please let me know down below. If you saw any numbers that I screwed up in my budget, please let me know down below. I hope that you were able to get your budget closed out for the final month and week of December of 2023. Have a happy new year. I will see you guys tomorrow evening. Bye.